Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new action figure review. We have the latest Tamashii Nation's Bandai SA Figure Arts and it's the Iron Spider from the Avengers Endgame Final Battle Edition. So this figure is the follow-up to the Iron Man and Captain America Final Battle Editions as well as Marvel's Rescue. So I've done the reviews for those, so in case you haven't seen them, you can check them out after this video. So this is the second Iron Spider for SA Figure Arts after the Infinity War version, which I didn't pick up. I was waiting for that. I just held back and then Tomashi Nations made the announcement of the Endgame version. So of course, I was very excited for this one. This is also known as the Instant Kill version, if you've seen the promo photos. Of course, we'll unbox the figure and show you why. So before I start, I want to focus on the packaging because this is, to me, quite important. When the packaging is really nice, it kind of makes the figure feel a lot more better. Now, before I start with the actual look of the box, it actually matches well with the Iron Man and Captain America ones. So you sort of make one display, which is really cool. So they've gone for the Infinity War type of packaging where the character is at the front. They have the usual stickers, logos, of course the purple theme to match the in-game final battle. And as you can see, they've actually used the Peter Parker head sculpt on the neutral figure, which is something they did for Iron Man, Captain America and Rescue as well. And then on the side, like we saw before, we have the picture of the figure, as well as on the other side in a neutral pose. And then on the back, we have the figure in different poses. At the top, some writing. At the bottom, we have photos and writing. And what I like is how they use this gold text. It kind of makes the figure a lot more premium as well. We have a background to Margination Survey, as well as the manual to put on the accessories. So here is the action figure, the full look inside its packaging. Just like the Iron Man Final Battle Edition, there are two layers of the plastic packaging. So we can finally take a look at the Spider-Man Iron Spider figure right out of his packaging. So my first honest impressions, just like when I first saw it in the movies, this is probably the best Spider-Man suit for Tom Holland. It really has that colourful look that pops out, and there's no doubt it's going to stand out from the crowd. And it's already an improvement by Tamashii Nations over the Infinity War version. If you just look at the overall sculpt and paint, it has that really slick, shiny, metallic look, which is what the Iron Spider suit is meant to look like. Whereas the Infinity War version, the Marvel Legends, it was a good figure, but it just had that plastic look to it. But to me, this is almost perfect. If you remember Tony Stark when he first introduced it to Peter Parker in Homecoming, he was actually wowed by it. And this is the vibe I get when I see this figure simply because it's so shiny and it has that metallic Iron Man suit feel. The feel of the actual figure is actually pretty lightweight, which is perfect for Spider-Man because he's going to be in the many flying, crawling, swinging poses. So it's going to be perfect for that. As for the head sculpts, I know that the Endgame versions have been up and down. I like the Tony Stark one. The Steve Rogers and Pepper Potts one was okay, it wasn't bad. So I think this Tom Holland Peter Parker is in between the two. I'll say it definitely resembles him, but in some angles it doesn't really. Maybe the mouth is a bit off. So for the first part of the accessories, we have six set of alternative hands, such as the web shooting, web holding and wall crawling. We also get six pieces of the web. Then we get the spider legs with the piece to be connected to the back of the figure and the tool to open the back piece. We have the alternative head sculpt, which is the mask, as well as three extra pieces for the eyes. And we also get the nano gauntlet. So now we're going to switch up the head sculpts and then do the articulation. So to remove the whole head, you're going to have to take it off with the neck. And then you can pull on the Spider-Man helmet or mask. So for the articulation, I've said many times for Tomashii Nation's SH figure arts, they are almost perfect as there's many joints and movements on their figures. And when I done the Gameverse review of Spider-Man, I said it was perfect, as he would be in many different dynamic poses. So I expect this one to be not much of a difference. When I picked up this figure and also changed the head sculpts, I thought it was pretty smooth. 
So let's hope the rest of the joints are the same. So for the head sculpt first, of course, it's your usual 360 spin, side to side. And then it can go downwards this much and upwards this much. You can sort of rotate it with the neck as well. If I just remove the head sculpt, you can see that this peg here is pretty different to most of your SH figure arts. This one I think is mostly used for someone like Spider-Man. So for the arms, 360 rotation, you can move the biceps forward like this. The biceps, separate from the rest of the arms, so you can do a full 360 spin. Elbows, they bend as far back like this. He has the hand, but if I rotate it, you can see it rotates the full armor as well. But if you want to, you can just rotate the hand as well. You can move it inwards and outwards slightly. Now for the upper body. Now this is pretty smooth, it goes side to side. And I think it does do a full 360 rotation as well. You can tilt it side to side slightly. And of course forwards and backwards without creating much gap which is what I like and then for the lower half of the body there's not much of a turn to be honest but it does have a crunch to go forwards which of course does create a little gap and then it can go backwards slightly as well so the lower half of the body not much there now for the legs you can see separate pieces so they do kick forwards and backwards and of course rotation all the way around which is what spider-man needs and then for the knees i assume they go quite far back and they do and then for the boots of course there's no turn but the actual foot you're going to have a full 360 spin as well as side to side movement and then for the toes they go upwards as well so yeah, it's pretty much your standard articulation, nothing new and nothing much of a restriction. Maybe the only downside is the lower half of the body doesn't have much movement there. So the first accessory piece I want to show you is the spider legs, which will be connected to the back of the figure. And just this one alone, it has plenty of movement and articulation. If I can show you, it does rotate all the way around. And the legs do bend they can go forwards, backwards. So there's a lot of posing here just for the spider legs, which is perfect for the instant kill mode pose. So to actually put the piece on, you're gonna have to remove the back piece using this tool that they do provide and you just flick it out. And there you can see the piece for the legs to be connected. And there you have it, the spider legs on the figure. So for the web accessories, it's pretty simple and quite familiar if you already own some of the previous SH figure art Spider-Mans. So you have to remove the hands, place the webs in, and put in the web shooter hands. And here is the alternative shorter webs. You can also connect the alternative piece to the back, which is for a stand. And here are the rest of the alternative hands for the other poses. So now to activate the instant kill mode. So we can now take a look at a very nice bonus accessory and that is the Nano Gauntlet which of course featured in the final battle scenes. It included Iron Spider carrying it on the battlefield. So it's a nice addition to this figure. Now I do like the look and the sculpt of it and it's not just a piece of plastic because there is movement on each of the fingers and it even allows it to do the snap. That's because if you read the manual, it says that it fits onto the Avengers Endgame Hulk figure, which is very exciting because when I reviewed the Hulk, I did want the Nano Gauntlet. So it looks like Tomashi Nations are following the trend of Mafex and Marvel Legends, where they include accessories that fit onto some previous figures. So now for some side-by-side -side comparisons next to its fellow Avengers SH figure arts. Next to the Avengers Endgame Iron Man Mark 50, the Nano Weapon Set 2. Next to the Avengers Infinity War Doctor Strange. 
next to the Avengers Infinity War Star Lord. Next to the Avengers Endgame Final Battle Captain America. Next to the Avengers Endgame Pepper Potts. And next to the Avengers Endgame Final Battle Iron Man Mark 85. So now for my overall thoughts of the Avengers Endgame Iron Spider Final Battle Edition of SH Figure Arts. Firstly I want to say it looks fantastic as I have no doubts it's better than the previous Infinity War version. Simply because of the design of the suit. It just looks more colourful, shiny and metallic. And of course we can activate the instant kill mode with the red eyes. We also have some nice additions like the Peter Parker head sculpt and the nano gauntlet. And in terms of the standard SH figure arts, we do get what we expected, like some nice articulation, the usual accessories like the web shooter and wall crawling hands, and a variety of webs. And of course we also get the iron spider legs like we do in the Infinity War version. As for the improvements, they could have given us a damaged gauntlet and possibly a stand as I think for Spider-Man we could do a lot more poses using that. As for the Peter Parker head sculpt, it could be a bit more detailed, but I'm not complaining too much as I think it works with the Iron Man figure. So my overall score would be a solid 8.5 out of 10, especially as I held back from the Infinity War versions of SH Figure Arts and Marvel Legends. So this is a great addition to my collection. Of course the figure will still need to be compared to the Mafex version to claim as the best 112 Iron Spider, so stay tuned as I'll be fitting the Nano Gauntlet on the Endgame Hulk figure and reviewing the upcoming Endgame Captain Marvel Final Battle SH figure arts next. And if you haven't already, you can check out the links to my latest reviews, news and comparisons. Please like, share and subscribe and hope to see you soon.